Welcome to the viewers. Now we discuss Modera's theorem. This theorem speaks the few ideas about and it is the converse of Cauchy's theorem. Now the statement of the theorem. Now let's take a look. If number 1 gz is a continuous function in domain d and second condition is if integral gz dz is equal to 0 along the cross control c where c is a closed contour in d then gz is analytic inside D. Then how to prove this result? At first, we are taking let Z0 be a fixed point and Z be any variable point, any variable in D. Then value of the integral let us integral z0 to z gz dz is independent of the curve joining z0 z is a function of upper limit this is very important and upper limit z it is a function of upper limit z now we consider and hence we may write gz is the function of the upper limit z0 to z gz dz small gz dz so it is the upper limit function so g of only changing the upper limit z plus h h is any small point in the neighborhood of z so z0 to z plus h only changing is the upper limit gz dz Therefore, g of z plus h minus g of z that will be integral z0 to z plus h gz gz minus integral z0 to z gz dz and using the elementary property of integral calculus in the second cases it is this integral part z to z zero changing upper limit to lower limit and also using this elementary property that is z to z plus h gz dz and it is clear so it is a contour over c gz dz where c is the close curve and when h tending to 0 two points coincide this point obviously is coincide z to z 
z to z that's coincide simply h tends to 0 and so integral c dz dz equals to 0 and therefore we can say limit as h tending to 0 g of z plus h minus g of z that must be 0 we are writing in this manner and now for further adjustment and for the sake of calculations we consider few things which imply limit as h tending to 0 taking a bracket format and do some making a readjustment z plus h minus g of z divided by h minus small gz we adjustment that is subtracting minus gz both the side and in the RHS side limit as h tends to 0 minus gz by h integral z to z plus h gz and subtly this factors will changes on these sides which imply limit as h tending to 0 g of z plus h minus g of z by h minus g of z and that will be if as h tends to 0 so uh, the result will be limit as h tending to 0 minus g z by h and if we take as this limit as h tends to 0 dz by h that is integral contour over c dz and since c joining z to z plus h and uh, the joining curve c joining c is joining curve and which is closed and since c become closed so it is zero as c is closed so contour over c d is equals to zero is an analytic and so it is zero by Cauchy's theorem so we use this result analytic function zero so finally we write which imply limit as h tending to 0 g of z plus h minus g of z by h minus g z equals to 0 and which imply limit as h tending to 0 g of z plus h minus g of z by h equals to g of z which imply that is a formula of differentiation g dash z equals to g z and the derivative g z exists for all z in the therefore g j s z exists and it is analytic as g j is also analytic so we can say small g j is analytic within d and it is also analytic in domain d because in d domain d so since g dash z is analytic so g dash g dash z is equal to g z which is also analytic in d and hence the proof
we end our discussion today if you like this video like it share it don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching